guys. Boo you. What's going on guys, Boat here and welcome to my third progress video on this account. I believe it's been about three days, possibly four since my last one, so there's going to be some, hopefully some fairly good changes on the game for me at the moment. Now I'd just like to say I just finished my 24 hour live stream, it's actually the first time I've ever streamed 24 hours straight and I actually streamed for 27 and a half, 26 and a half hours overall. It was really enjoyable. Uh, one highlight was the fact that at the same time Bonesaw was also going for his fire cape and it was honestly, I'm not even going to say anything about it, it was possibly the best runescape clip I've ever seen. I said that a lot on the live stream so I don't want to keep saying it here because the people who were watching the live stream are going to be like, oh god, off it goes again. It was bloody amazing, that's all I'm going to say. But anyways, um, so we're just going to hop into the stats update. So 948 total, I will get the high scores up in the side right now while you can look at the stats yourself. I'm not going to bother commentating them out to you but yeah, whatever. I'll just, I'll just throw the high scores there. Um, the construction, a lot of people are asking about how I trained my construction. You currently cannot actually train construction in the game. Uh, if you use these stews from the evil Dave whatever recipe for disaster thing, you can actually boost your construction to 5 and then you can do the Darkness of Hallow Vale quest, I think it's pronounced. From that you get 2000 experience and from that you can do the Tower of Life, the Eyes of Glufry and if you really want to, which I haven't done because I really couldn't be bothered, you can also do the Fremenic Isles. You can't do the Great Brain Robber which is the final one, you only get to about 27 I think if you do all those quests. And then I don't know, you could actually just, I think you could just boost it again couldn't you? So yeah you probably could do the Great Brain Robber as well but I'm not sure. Anyways if I just hop into the high scores, I'm actually rank 44 overall. Now. I've played a lot, I'll just say that, I mean, I've just finished playing for 26 and a half hours straight, that just says it all, really, like, 26 hours and a half of RuneScape in 26 and a half hours of time, that says how much I've been playing. However, I'm not even playing to get ranks, they're just coming, so I think 44 rank, without trying, is quite impressive, if I was trying, I reckon, I, with the no life and included, I could be pretty high right now, but yeah, a lot of people are saying that, that a ton of quest rewards have also bumped into this, but I mean, if I go into the quest points, I'm on 138 quest points, I've done so many quests, like... You have to take into account how much time it takes me to do this quest. I did quest very quick. I did Monkey Madness today in under 45 minutes. I, no, in a 45 minutes, I believe my stream said. That was without energy pots for the entire thing. I didn't run the whole map. I had to walk until I got to the, the part where you had to run to Zucknuck or whatever his name is. That was the only time I'd actually be using energy pots to run. So, yeah. And then I also did Desert Treasure, which took me absolutely no time at all. Seriously, I think I did that in like 30 minutes. So, some quests, they don't actually take that long for me, but you have to still take into account how long it would actually take me to do all these quests, and then you transfer that into skills and remove all the skill rewards off those quests and whatever else would be there. Would I have a higher than 948 at all? I think I'd easily, I'd easily be high. I mean, I'm not going to claim a number. I reckon I could get a thousand in that. Cause I mean, 900, I can get that well high. Construction obviously I can't, but the time questing could also have been put into skills. So. Yeah. Also, while I'm here, um, I'd like to say I'm actually ranked two construction. Like I said, you can actually pot up to do the other quest. This guy did it. Now, this is the first person who did it. He was the first person to get the construction high scores. I thought of the ideas of being able to just do a quest reward to actually get there, but I really just couldn't be bothered. This guy did it, and then like it kind of proved it. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, right, okay, I want to get all these construction high scores. And I spent five hours doing quests, and it was so dead. It's five hours doing two quests, and that was in aid of Miraku. Which is the worst quest ever. It's not as bad as a, as, a, as a first resort, but that is a horrible quest. I hated it. I wanted to shoot someone. Obviously, I was actually quite distracted at the time, though, so yeah. But yeah, I mean, while I'm here as well, 25 there, you can boost that 5 levels, gives you 30, which could allow you to do the Great Brain Robbery. So yeah, maybe you can. Maybe this guy can, is probably working towards doing that now. I don't know if he can. I mean, you only have to make some clockwork cats, I think you do, for wooden cats, whatever it is for that quest, so I reckon he could do it. But yeah, because this guy was actually the first person to do it, I think he deserves the rank 1 spot. I, I mean, I took rank 1 with the 3,250, but then he obviously did the Fremenic Isles, which gave him an extra 5,000 experience, so obviously he's miles ahead, but I took actually took his rank 1. And simply because he was the first person to do it, I think he rightly deserves to have the permanent rank 1. No one can overtake him now. No one can actually overtake that, unless you can actually do the Great Brain Robbery, until the skill is actually released. So I think that's well deserved, so... Enjoy, but yeah, I'm happy with my rank 2, but it's quite cool having rank 2 in a skill. I never thought I'd actually have it, but it's also cool if I go into overall, if I just type in search rank 1, and then I'm there, and then let's just say rank 33, which would be halfway down this next page. I'm at the very bottom of the next page, which is quite cool. The experience is obviously different, but yeah, whatever. But yeah, I mean, that's that. Anyways, um, might as well go to the bank. So... I was just live streaming then and I disconnected right at the end while I was at Barrows trying to make some money because once again I'm broke in the game. I spent about 200, 150k maybe if I'm being like that's a good amount. I'm not exaggerating that on Desert Treasure alone. 
So I need to try and rebuild that. And Barrows, everyone was asking me to do Barrows. I had loads of people watching, so it was really enjoyable to do. Unfortunately, like, literally 10 minutes before I was going to win the last stream anyway, I disconnected on Verak, Verak, and died, unfortunately. And I lost a lot of stuff, as you can see, I have one fire rune in the bag. It's just a pain when things like this happen, but yeah. I mean, something kind of cool is, I mean, you all know that I don't accept donations for a reason, but it's really cool that we're like, when I actually disconnected on the stream and I came back and I was in Fallado with three times, everyone was like, just accept donations, no one's going to care, you've, you've disconnected for it, it's, it's only fair. But the way I see it is, everyone in the game disconnects at some point, and obviously if you disconnect and you're not live streaming, you're not a famous YouTuber, you're not going to get the stuff back. So I think it's only fair that it's, I've disconnected, therefore my stuff is gone, that's just how I'm going to play it, so I'm just going to stick to that. I don't, I don't want to take, I, I really want to see how far I can get without taking a single donation. I know that I've been traded a few things by some friends and maybe the occasional like I mean I was just like the thing going on the streams at the moment is if I accept any trade without me putting up like anything is the instantly the whole spam of donation is a joke really but I mean I was trading at fire giants and uh people kept looting my arrows but then some people were giving them back and everyone was like oh my god donations etc but it's kind of funny but I don't think I'll ever be accepting donations I think I just want to get as far as can as po as far as I can as possible and then everyone else who wants to take donations can do that but yeah anyway just gonna go for a quick bank video now it's not really worth that much I mean it's a complete mess by the way uh, I don't complain about this I the way I see it is once I finish questing which is pretty silly because I think I might go for a quest cape in this game I really think I will do now that the f like everyone wants to get their own achievement in these servers the first whip, many people are going for that, and I personally think it's going to be between Moonshark and that 2192 guy. The 2192 guy actually has a lot of people feeding him cannonballs, so he has a quite a big advantage. However, Moonshark is slaying efficiently, he's got sick gear, he's playing a lot, so he has a good chance. So I think it's going to be between them. Personally, I think I hope it's Moonshark, he's a friend of mine, so I might have to borrow a whip off him at some point, maybe when he's getting them, I don't know, but... I mean, I'm not really hoping he gets there just so I can borrow one, but maybe I'll get the offer, but... Yeah, and then obviously... Many people are going for 99s in all the first skills. The first 99 skill was Steven, which was the first 99 ever gained. Then obviously Bonesaw got his the first fire cape in the game, followed like 10 minutes later by Wooks, and then loads of people getting fire capes. Jupy, he got a fire cape as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, majority of you aren't going to understand that. I should have put that in, but uh, yeah, he died about four times trying to get one today live stream. So yeah. Oh, anyways, um, and then obviously the quest cape as well is one that I would also like to earn. First, to get the first quest cape, I really don't bother. I'm not bothered at all about first. Just to have it in my bank would be cool. Simply because there's going to be no updates at all, I won't actually be having to do more quests in the future, so it's a cape that I'll have on the dot. Awesome. That's how I see it. And yeah, if I scroll down, I mean, it's pretty much next to nothing at this point. You get the bits and bobs, like I've got the 555 pure essence that might be like 1k right there. Not, No, that's 10k right there. That's not bad. That's 11k right there. 11,100 GP. That's not bad. Then I've got some blood runes, some seeds, some death runes. They might be worth a bit, actually some other random stuff and yeah it's just mainly quest stuff and then obviously i disconnected for a lot and i spent all my money so i've got 15k some bolt racks and barrows my ancient staff which i can actually do with and my shadow sword a lot of people have been asking me around what sword i've actually got and how you get it it's actually implemented into the game a long time ago it's actually a hidden update i've lost my adamant gloves that sucks so i'll just grab, grab my ghostly gloves out of the bank but whatever but yeah a lot of people ask um how do i actually get the shadow sword but there you go, it's got pretty bad stats, but cosmetic-wise, it actually looks quite nice. And I don't think there's any requirements for it. So if you actually get one of these, or one attack, which is impossible, because you need to start, never mind, just ignore me completely, because you need to do the waterfall quest to actually start Desert Treasure. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of cosmetic, but yeah, that's, that's kind of a close-up, but whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much my account over the, um, the past few days. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I'm really looking forward to PKing, but once again, like I said, I'm in no rush. I'm kind of aiming, I want at least 80 strength before I hit PKing up. So... I'm also working once again on a perfect build, like, I had Almost Famous and, or Boaty, if you've subscribed recently when my name was changed. Um, obviously it's a max 40 defense build, absolutely perfectly built, so it's, it's just pretty much just a perfection account. That's what I'm planning to do on here, I've, I've already pretty much set up a lot of what my build is, but it requires a lot of sacrifices to actually get the build perfect. Many other people will copy the build, well not copy the build, but also be making the same build. And obviously many people are doing different builds, but overall I think I'll have one of the most unique builds in the game to start off with, but then many other people will be making the same thing eventually. And then obviously I will actually be training attack, I plan to be 60 attack again for a bit, but I will be getting my attack up, but yeah. Anyways, rambled on a bit, I've seen some comments saying that you want these to be longer, but I also see a lot of comments saying that the reason these I think these are boring is because I'm just sat at the bank doing absolutely nothing. I threw in a bit of a bank video and a couple of high scores in here, but overall, yeah, like I can understand fully why people find that boring but yeah that's pretty much my progress i don't know what day this is so i'm just gonna say it's my third progress update video so 
Hope you enjoyed this. If you think my progress is actually really, really good for this time, for this for how long I've well, just really good for when the servers come out. Feel free to like leave a comment or something. That'd be cool. Leave your progress if I draw a couple of ranks in front of me behind me. Get some competitions going. I think I'm racing a couple of friends to Barry's gloves at the moment, but I don't think I'll win that because I'm just taking my time with it. But yeah. Anyways, what's everyone's fishing level?